Bell, round two. How does your unofficial scorecard look after the first round? Unofficially, I have Archuleta winning that round. He landed the better shots. He controlled the position more. He had the better knee strikes. He gets the round. Archuleta singing the praises of Dwayne Ludwig, who's taken him under his wing. He says he's really starting to get a feel for his system and incorporating it into his fight game. Of course, that system based on the legendary, the UFC Hall of Famer, El Wapo Boss Rooms fighting system. Yeah, well, that's where, you know, Dwayne got all of his start was through the Holland style, that Dutch kickboxing style of Boss Root. But the one thing I will say, look, Boss is remarkable and a remarkable teacher. But Dwayne has taken what Boss has given him and he's just expanded upon it and made it special. Be careful what you say about my friend Fato. <laughs> Almost a minute gone here in the second round, Archuleta. Utilizing lateral movement, Dantas trying to find the right angle, the right point of entry. And it's Archuleta taking it again to Dantas. And Quick da flurry of strikes. Dantas and body opinion. shots, and Archuleta opening up on Dantas. Archuleta's landing some good strikes. Dantas is making the big... Double change ball by Dantas. The big mistake of trying to land a big shot. Look at it. Don't try to load up and land one shot on him. You've got to keep touching him. He is all over the place. Just keep peppering at him, and eventually they'll, they'll start to add up. But if you try to land that one, you're not going to land it very often. Three of Archuleta's previous four victories have come by decision. You see damage on Dantas' eye right there. He's got a cut in the eyelid area. That is not a good place for him to be cut. Knee to the midsection by Dantas. Archuleta trying to create separation and on the exit fires off a right hand. That's what you'll see from Juan Archuleta throughout all of his fights. He is very big at being the guy that gets the last shots off. It was one of the things that gave him a problem against Ricky Bandejas. Ricky was able to sometimes land those shots and he was not used to a guy getting those shots on him. Gonto said that he was going to be fighting like an animal. He's obsessed with getting his title back and yet testing the waters here at 145 pounds. Well, these, are, these guys already fought once on Twitter because they had a social media battle going on. They treated each other like Twitter troglodytes. <laughs> Gontas has not finished a fight since March of 2014, has won five of his last seven. All of this back and forth footwork that Arch and see, look at the angle he started to create there. What he's learned from Dwayne, he is making it effective in his fights, and Dantes is having a hard time figuring out when he can set his feet to throw hard. And the reason this fight is taking place at Featherweight, according to Archuleta, was the, the time frame that Bellator gave them. And he said, it's going to be better for both of us because they're going to be fully hydrated and performing at our best. John, earlier today, we talked about that. The, 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 the width of the size advantage of Dantes oh, gets it's hurt. Hurt by Archuleta's left hand. It's on the side of the mouthpiece out of his mouth there inside low kick by Archuleta. You saw his legs stiffen. When it, whenever you get hit with a shot, that you see that fighter, he goes again, what we were talking about before earlier, from a muscular structure of holding his weight to a skeletal. And when a guy has to use his skeletal oh, structure to hold up, you know he was hurt. Just misses with the spinning back fist. And as we were mentioning about size advantage, Jail Sonnen has been vocal about that, John. Talk a little bit about the, the perception of that size advantage when trying to cut weight. Yeah, you know, the one thing that has always been the rule in MMA is you, you're hearing guys saying, I want to be the bigger, stronger fighter in my weight class. And it's the dumbest idea there is because oh, really what you want to be is the faster fighter. And if you are hydrated like a Kyoji Horiguchi and you're feeling good, you can go those five rounds. But when you have dropped all that weight, lost all of those fluids, that will kill you if this fight goes in, goes any distance at all. 30 seconds left here in the second round. Archuleta continues lateral movement. Darting back side to side, right to left, and Dantas not closing the gap, and it's Archuleta again, bringing the fight to Dantas, sticking and moving. Final 10 seconds of the second round in this featherweight fight. And it's Archuleta that 
comes in with his sorties attacks and then backs up. What a right hand! A walk-off KO by the Spaniard! What a Oh!